The rope stitch is a variation on the twisted chain. There is another rope stitch out there as well. We're going to start just by making a twisted chain stitch, just a single one. So I'm going to go back down right next to where I came up, come up on the line, and I want to cross my thread over the needle and then under the tip and pull up. Okay, we are not tacking it down though. So now I'm going to go back where my legs crossed. I'm going to go back down right there in that cross. And I'm still trying to be really close to the line. I'm going to travel forward with my needle and come out on the line. And I'm going to cross over my needle and under the tip again. Make sure you're always crossing over the same direction for this stitch. Going back down where I crossed before. Coming, I mean, yeah, in the cross. So it's right in there. Coming back up on the line. Cross my thread over and under the tip. Pull through. We're going back in again right next to where they cross over. Going forward on the line thread over and then under the needle. Remember, you're wrapping the same way every time because we want our wraps on the rope to nest right next to each other. Going in on the cross, right next to the cross, forward on the line, cross over my needle, under the tip, pull through. It really shouldn't matter which way you cross over as long as you stay the, right, the same direction every time. So in where they crossed, forward on the line, bring my thread up and over my needle, and then under the tip, I'm making a figure eight on there. Pull up. And I just keep doing the same thing over and over, and this makes a thicker kind of rope-like effect. I'm gonna try making it a little bit bigger so maybe you can see it better. Go down further. It just won't be as smooth if it's longer. Pull up. So my cross is in here now. Right down next to where the thread's crossed. Wrap up and over and then under the tip. Right where they crossed. Over and under the tip, right next to where they crossed. Up on the line, wrap your thread up and then and over and then back under your tip. And then I'm, that's where the threads are crossed, right there from my previous stitch. I'm going down right next to it, coming up on the line, up and over and then under the tip and pull through. So you maybe see that it's a little bit more elongated. It's prettier if it's closer together. So I'm gonna go back to that. Just don't, if you wanna have it closer together, we just don't go out as far on the line. We stay in closer to where we came up from the previous stitch. And when you're finished, you're going to just tack it off, just like if you were doing a lazy daisy. I'm doing the second line, just wrapping the opposite way. So rather than going down on the right, I'm going down on the left, traveling forward, and I'm wrapping over the top to the left or to the bottom, and then under my tip. Now, you may get a different look because threads twist different ways. So you might wanna try both ways and see which one you like better. Actually with this one, the twisting to the left is getting much more of a rope look than the twisting to the right did. You get the same thing when you do the stem stitch versus the outline stitch. The only difference on that is on one, you keep the thread under the needle and on the other, you keep it above the needle. So I'm getting a prettier one by coming 
down where the, the um, twist is on the bottom or on the left, wrapping to the same side where I put, went down with a needle under the tip and pull through. Again, right there where it crossed. I'm running out of thread. Over the needle to the same side where I went down where it crossed, wrapping over the top of the needle and then under the tip and through. And when I'm finished, I'm just going to take my needle down to the back side.